Well, carpaccio, Spanish style. Should we try it? You first. Thank you, sir. So, uh, we've been on the road for two months. I just uh, miss my dog a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> first thing I'm gonna do is take a long, hot shower and make sure my bed is properly set up so I can have a very nice eight to 10 hour sleepover in my own bed. I think it's the thing I miss the most nice. of not being home, yeah. But I mean, we can't complain, like look at our, our lifestyle. It's, we're in Sierra Nevada, Spain, in the middle of nowhere, there's a massive like mountain. The cool thing about our life is we get to see places like this every week, everywhere around the world. So I yeah. think like we miss home, but we're pretty damn lucky. Living on the road for so long, chasing your Olympic dreams, when you're not chasing it, when you're not actually doing your sport, you tend to just miss it. I think we had a fantastic time this whole year. Uh, I think we, we kicked some ass like we've, we've done in the past. Uh, Nation Cup winner, where Canadian, Canadian men team was the strongest again this year. Thanks, thanks for an awesome season from Mick, but I still helped a little bit with some podium in there. Um, yeah, the future looks very good. I think we're healthy. The sport is, is strong and obviously all eyes on the Olympic next year in Pyeongchang. For us, it's both going to be our second Olympic and I think we learned a lot from the last one. Yeah. Well, going last for me and, and winning a medal, I think was crazy. And I was uh, a bit innocent in all of this, yeah. but now I know, I know what to do. I know what I need to win. And yeah, it's just gonna we didn't. Be. We definitely know a little more what to expect. Yeah, we know what to expect. Like we got to the Olympic, and thinking like it was a World Cup, but we got there and I saw ourselves. We were like at Walt Disney. We were like in the. We were living the dream that every skier, every athlete wants to live. Yeah, I think we we are, we're gonna go way more mature into the next Olympic. And obviously, in like 2018. It's probably going to be my last year on tour. So um, as a competitor and an, and an athlete, I want to make the most out of it. Uh, I definitely want to like capitalize on all the opportunity I have. And uh, Olympic is, is a big goal again. Uh, 2014, I barely qualify. Uh, I think going into Pyeongchang 2018, I'm, I'm in, in a very, very good position now. It's going to be just all in, you know, my last year. So yeah, I'm just going to go fight for it and, and hopefully Bring home some gold, some gold or some silver for you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, at this point, I'll take any colors. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> that was an amazing season, and I look forward for next year. Let's uh, when you go home, let's let's not call each other for two weeks though. Yeah, let's, let's, let's not call each other, and then we'll have more stories to tell when we see each other, and then it's gonna yeah. be just more exciting. Yeah. Cheers, hey, bro. Cheers to a good season, good season man. Going to a better one next year. Woo!